Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we will be unboxing, taking a first look, and reviewing the Walgo Mini 2S electric skateboard. The Mini 2S is a mid-budget mini belt drive electric skateboard that is essentially a belt drive version of the Walgo Mini 2 that we reviewed a few months ago. The stock board usually retails for $799 US dollars, but it's discounted at times for as low as $549. Getting into the unboxing, this board came single boxed with a handle built in which is always nice to carry the board during transport. The first thing inside on top was a thin layer of foam and then the next thing underneath was the Walgo Mini 2S. Right out of the box this thing feels fantastic with an aesthetic and build quality of a classic Walgo product. Underneath the Mini 2S are all of the accessories included with the board. First, we have an instruction manual, which is always important to read before taking the board for a ride. As with all WoWGO products, there's also a classic sticker set included in the box. The board also comes with a second instruction manual specifically for the remote and app instruction, which I'll get to later in the video. The remote controller is a very common hobby wing remote seen across a lot of budget to mid-budget level electric skateboards. This remote has a screen on it for live telemetry data while riding, which is always nice to have. The shape of this remote is comfortable to hold and it doesn't feel too flimsy compared to some of the other remotes out there. Overall, this is one of my favorite remotes on similarly priced boards. Underneath the remote there is a charger which is a typical looking charger among many electric skateboards. This charger utilizes a standard DC barrel drag port and charges at a rate of 2 amps which is the common charge rate on similar electric skateboards. To go with the charger there is also a USDC wall power adapter. Next, there is this orange Y Allen key type tool with three sizes that's useful for maintenance on the board's hex bolts. Walgo sent me the 2-in-1 version, which is $919 normally, but it's discounted for $669 at times. They effectively charge an additional $120 for the extra set of 105mm Discovery Cloud wheels. Based on my experience with the Discoveries, these are high quality electric longboard wheels that make street riding super comfortable. They are a massive upgrade to have as an option on a board like this. To charge the remote controller, there is a standard USB-C type cable, and another very nice inclusion is the extra set of 260mm belts for the board, which is always great to have on hand with a belt drive for maintenance. Belgo has also included an extra charge port for the battery, which they seem to do for many of their boards. Lastly, the board comes with a T-tool, which is always nice to have to adjust the trucks and perform board maintenance. And that's everything included in the Mini 2S, Here's a closer look at all of the accessories included in the box. With the unboxing done, we are now going to take a first look at the Walgo 2S Mini and go over all of the components used on this board. For starters, the Mini 2S is pretty much just an upgraded belt drive version of the Mini 2. Aesthetically, it's clear that these boards share a lot of the same features. The shape really reminds me of the President that Boosted set with their mini series. Since then, Walgo and many others have replicated a similar style of board. While the Mini 2 and Mini 2S boards may look nearly identical in some ways, there are actually quite a few key differences to be aware of that make the 2S a substantial upgrade. So getting into the actual components, the first part is the deck. The deck is about 29 inches long and 9 inches wide. For a board of this length, the deck feels pretty wide. The deck is made from 8 liters of Canadian maple and features a Yukon cave. As a short board, the deck features a mini kicktail for maneuvering and picking up the board. A very nice feature on this deck is the small rubber puck on the bottom that prevents damage to the deck when the kicktail is used. As far as the shape goes, this deck seems to be the same one that's used on the Mini 2. Aesthetically, it features many of the same graphics but with a different color wave. The grip tape is a foam padded one with a plain grey color and pattern, while the bottom uses this sick looking green decal that I think looks amazing. The stock wheels that come mounted on the board are a pretty generic black 90mm flywheel clone. They have a 62mm contact patch and a 78A durometer. The trucks are a standard width 45 degree RKP truck and the bushings are 95A in durometer. The rear truck contains the drivetrain of the board, which is a dual belt drive setup. This belt drive setup is what really distinguishes the Mini 2S from the Mini 2, which used a dual hub motor drive. The Mini 2S utilizes two belt drive motors that are each 700 watts for a maximum combined power output of 1,400 watts. That's pretty low for a belt drive board, and it's only 40 total watts higher than the Mini 2 hub motor electric skateboard. This being said, the belt drive yields a completely different experience with the board. Overall, the drivetrain of this board is compact, sleek, and looks very nice. Moving on to the electronics, the Mini 2S utilizes a singular long enclosure. The front end and majority of the enclosure holds the battery, and the back of the enclosure holds the ESC. 
This enclosure looks almost identical to the Mini 2 enclosure, but is slightly larger to accommodate different electronics. The battery is a 12S2P made from premium Samsung 30Q cells and is 260 watt hours. This is a notable upgrade from the 10S2P 180 watt hour battery on the Mini 2. The charge port for the board is located at the very front of the enclosure, facing downwards and has a rubber cap on it. The ESC, like I said, is located at the back of the enclosure, and it's a Hobbywing version 5.0 ESC. I have tended to really like the Hobbywing ESCs on similar budget electric skateboards. To keep the ESC running as cool as possible, there are also very nice CNC machined metal heat sinks on the sides of the enclosure towards the rear. The power switch for the board is located at an interesting location at the very back of the enclosure, right under the motors. As with every board that I've reviewed from WowGo, I was really impressed with the build quality of this board and the components used given the price. To recap, the WowGo Mini 2S has an awesome looking enclosure with CNC heat sinks, premium battery cells, a classic sleek looking belt drive, and a beautiful green deck. Having gone over all of the components used on this board, I am now going to go into a detailed review of my thoughts on the Mini 2S after riding it for the past couple of weeks. This section of the video will be split up into chapters detailing each of the significant specs and features on this board, which can easily be skipped to using the chapters built into this video. The first category is the top speed of the board, which WowGo advertises to be 28 miles per hour or 45 kilometers an hour. Based on my experience riding this board, the top speed is 46 kilometers an hour or 28 and a half miles an hour according to the remote. For reference, I am 155 pounds with gear. The Mini 2S proved to be perfectly capable of easily reaching the advertised top speed by WowGo and even go a little bit faster. 28 plus miles per hour honestly felt very fast on this board given its size and shape, so there really is no need for it to be going any faster. Second is the range, and the advertised range on this board is up to 18.6 miles or 30 kilometers. Based on my range test with the stock 90mm wheels, the most range that I was able to get was 12 miles or 19-ish kilometers. Range is of course subject to a variety of factors including rider weight, riding style, and outdoor temperature. Thus, it's very important to note that these results were achieved riding aggressively in hilly terrain with an 155 pound rider in 45 degree Fahrenheit weather. I would estimate that riders should expect to get 11 to 15 miles or 18 to 24 kilometers of range out of the board. It should be noted that this is for the 90 millimeter wheels and that using the larger 105 millimeter cloud wheels would likely further decrease the range. The 18.6 miles advertised is high given the 260 watt hour battery, but may be attainable with the absolute perfect riding conditions. The third category is the hill climbing ability of this board, which WowGo advertises to be 25 to 30%. I tested this board on the hills that I ride on a daily basis, and the board performed very well given what it is. Of the short boards that I've tested, this is one of the better options when it comes to hill climbing, largely due to the bell drive configuration, which seems to be a rarity on this style of board these days. At the $550 discounted price, this is probably one of the cheaper boards available that's not bad when it comes to hill climbing. The Mini 2S is of course nowhere near a premium belt drive board, but it holds its own when faced with hilly terrain. Overall, it's a solid budget option and especially good for a shortboard. Fourth is the acceleration and braking on the board. The acceleration and braking curves are great when it comes to ease of use and smoothness of this board. Thanks to the ultra smooth and well tuned Hobbywing ESC, both are strong, reliable, and intuitive to use. Using the remote and the new mobile application, the writing modes on the board can also be customized and tuned perfectly to one's liking. This makes this a suitable board for entry level riders to work their way up to the highest speed modes. The strength of the acceleration in terms of punch off the line is good given the price. The belt drive is a noticeable upgrade over the hub motors on the Mini 2, so this board is a better option for riders looking for a little bit more thrill. It's not going to be a race board by any means, but it still has a nice bit of kick that's great for beginner riders looking for something a little stronger than a hub motor board. It should be noted that the stability of the shorter deck makes this board feel like it has a stronger acceleration than it actually does, so any stronger acceleration would seem to be unnecessary. The brakes on this board are also nice and strong, bringing the rider to a stop pretty quickly. Out of the box, I found them to be adequate, but would have preferred them to be a little bit stronger. Fortunately, I was able to tune this in the app and increase the brake strength to the maximum, which felt a little bit better. 
Overall, I've had a really good experience with the acceleration and braking and would recommend this board for beginners or intermediate riders. Fifth is the ride feeling of this board, and as someone who usually rides long boards, I've never been a huge fan of the short board ride feeling and the short board profile. The short deck leads to a narrower stance which makes it more difficult to ride at higher speeds and makes rapid accelerations and decelerations more difficult. This being said, the kicktail and the short wheelbase make this board nimble and maneuverable. For specific use cases, this makes the Mini 2S the ideal choice and it's precisely designed to be this way. As far as comfort goes, the short stiff deck with the long enclosure yields a pretty unforgiving ride. The vibrations pass straight through the wheels and the deck, making for a relatively uncomfortable riding experience on rough roads. This also makes it difficult for the Mini 2S to tackle sidewalk cracks, uneven gaps, and other large obstacles. One thing that really helps with the ride feeling is using the 105mm Discovery Cloud wheels. It was astonishing how big of a difference these wheels make to the comfort of the board. If you're deciding between the 90mm wheels and the 105s, my recommendation would be to go for the 105s because they make for a much smoother and tolerable ride. At this point, I exclusively ride the board with the 105s if that goes to show you anything. Overall, while the Walgo Mini 2S might not be the most comfortable board to ride, it's a compact and nimble shortboard. For this style of board, comfort might not be as much of a priority for the user as the function of the board and the ability to transport it with ease. Now, moving into the final section of this board, we have the miscellaneous topics. The first is the app, which can be used to connect to the board and alter settings. The app is available for both iOS and Android devices. It's not a WoWGo specific app, but a generic Bluetooth control app called Tuya Smart. Inside this app, the basic parameters in the board can be changed, including the remote units, wheel size, and gear ratio. The speed mode parameters can also be customized in three ways. First, the top speed for each speed mode can be adjusted. Second, the percent strength of the acceleration can be adjusted. And third, and finally, the percent strength of the deceleration can be adjusted. Another awesome feature within the app is the lock mode, which prevents remote throttle input when enabled. Overall, the app is super easy to use and packs many simple yet useful features. Second in MISC topics is the form factor and weight of this board, which make it a great option for short distance rides or commuting where the board needs to be carried. The board only weighs in at 17 pounds, which is not bad at all compared to many other boards out there. More importantly, the short length means that the board can be more easily carried on the side with a straight arm. Finally, the 105mm wheels for the 2-in-1 are a significant addition to this board. As I've said, these wheels are mainly for increased comfort while riding on rougher streets, but it should be noted that they can also be used for some light off-roading on short grass, compact dirt, or other similar surfaces. So here are my concluding thoughts on the WoWGo Mini 2S electric skateboard. At the discounted $550 price point for the stock board with the 90mm wheels, this is a very solid short board. It has a top speed of above 28 miles an hour, at least 12 miles of range, and it's relatively torquey for a short board. This board has fantastic specs while maintaining that super portable electric shortboard profile. My only issue with the stock setup is the comfort of the board, however this can be easily solved by switching to the 105mm cloud wheels which make a massive difference. If you're interested in this board, my personal suggestion would be to go for the Mini 2S option with just the 105mm cloud wheel option. It costs $649 discounted, which is still decent value for the board and makes a big comfort difference. This being said, at the $650-ish dollar price point, there are some other options that give the Mini 2S a run for its money. The board is a great option worthy of consideration for commuters, college students, or first-time riders. That's all I have for this review of the WoWGo 2S Mini Electric Skateboard. If you're interested in learning more about this board, we will have a link to the product page in the description below. If you have any questions or comments about it, let us know in the comment section below. Finally, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more electric skateboard reviews. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.